Hey guys, uh, RV Exodus here. I'm having a really hard time getting started with this video for some reason. I've restarted it a few times now. I'm under my sink. Um, me personally, no, but uh, the video is. And I've got my phone as a light. It's really horrible. I apologize. But uh, what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about clogged drains in your RV. And uh, what a better way to start off a video like that than in the uh, dark caverns, 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 something like that the dark trenches of, well, it's just underneath my sink. Hey, so look, we have two areas in our RV where we're getting constant clogs. Um, shouldn't say constant, but now and then, and it's not so much clogs as it is just the, the drain ends up um, draining very slowly. And um, I can show you where the culprit is. So uh, first off, in, in the kitchen where we have a double sink, um, there's the sinks. You, uh, we're frequently getting a clog right here on that guy. And, um, I think that's generally due to just, uh, you know, typically we don't have a lot of water pressure. Um, and a lot of times we're trying to conserve water. So water's slowly trickling down. Um, but w more commonly you'll see clogs happening in these P-traps. And these are actually very easy to take apart. Um, a lot of people, their first instinct is to pour chemicals down a drain. Um, but you can see here that there's these little hand twist on deals. Um, if you're having a problem with your, with your RV, uh, any of your sinks, your bathroom sink or your kitchen sink, draining slowly, just take that apart. Um, maybe take some uh, vomit medication uh, before you do. It's usually pretty nasty, especially when they are clogged up. But that's how you're going to solve your problem. So no need to pour you know, uh, Drano or anything harsh down the, down the drain like that. Let me go ahead and, uh, <laughs> uh, take you to the next area where we have, um, problem clogs and that's in the bathroom. All right. Who would have guessed it, right? Um, so it's the, uh, the shower. Sorry if that's a little smudgy as well. Um, but, uh, there, there's actually <laughs> some lessons learned here. I mean, there's, I'm not going to zoom in on it because I don't want to gross anybody out. Um, and it's not really super gross, but there's a little bit of hair sitting on top of that drain. Everybody has it. You take a shower, you lose a little bit of hair. Who knows why? It happens. Um, but uh, some of that hair works its way down in there. And if you look past that, let me, let me pull this off real quick. If you look past this little drain, let's see if I can get this open. There we go. If you look past this, you see there's like a little uh, crosshair down in there. What happens is the hair that gets past that generally hangs over the top of that crosshair. Um, you can usually see it. And I just recently cleaned this one. Um, and what I ended up doing is it took a little X-Acto blade, a um, little razor knife. And anywhere that I saw hair there, instead of trying to pick the hair out, let me tell you, you pull that hair out, it's pretty nasty, right? It's been dangling down there for weeks, if not months, um, and stuff has been growing on it and clinging on it, and whatever goes down your drain is probably attached to the hair there, and that's pretty nasty. So um, what I like to do is just take a little razor knife, cut it, um, run some hot water down there. Um, I use our shower head, which has like a massage setting on it, and I blow some, some, uh, some hot water down into that drain, getting it all nice and bubbly and agitated. And, uh, you know, that, that usually solves my problem. Uh, but again, this one's tough, right? It's not like you have can go under the sink on this one. What happens then if you do all that and you still have problems? Either your shower is not draining at all or it's draining very slowly, which is generally the, the challenge, right? Um, well, you know, let's go take a look at uh, what other options we have. I got this mostly for sinks um, and, and for the shower. Um, it's, it's really designed for that. Um, it's, it's designed to sit on a nice flat surface and, uh, it does have some suction there. And so this is an option. Um, and, and I would actually recommend you keep something like this handy around. Um, this is really good if you're just trying to clear a drain, you don't want to take apart all the plumbing or if it's, um, your, uh, your bathroom, uh, shower stall. Um, this may be not draining very rapidly. 
um, if there's some stuff clogged down there try it try using this the other day I, I was and maybe it was because I cut the hair <laughs> instead of trying to pull it out um, but the other day I actually had to use my hand I didn't have this yet I had to use my hand kind of cupped and just kept forcing water down into the drain and that eventually cleaned it up um, so no doubt there was some uh, some hair or some other crap you know caught in the drain there so this is really good this gives you that ability to to, to you know kind of plunge away at, uh, at whatever's clogging your drains and this is relatively cheap let me uh, let me take a look at my my online account here so that was seven dollars and four cents is what I paid for it. it on Amazon things change a little bit but I mean seven bucks you could be out in the middle of the forest and have a clog in one of your drains you know what a what a what a lifesaver there I mean and it's small right so it takes up no space all right moving on everybody's familiar with what a plunger does right so this was interesting um, I think there's what five in here um, this was also seven bucks six ninety nine and uh, let me pull one of these out so these got good reviews some of the bad reviews you know some people would give it four out of five stars or something like that um, some people just didn't solve their problem and that's fine that's okay it's not gonna uh, you know something's not always gonna solve like every problem out there um, I, I saw a couple people actually give it less stars because they said it was disgusting <laughs> which I thought was was freaking hilarious um, and what they were referring to as disgusting was the actual uh, stuff that came out. Wow, this stuff, this could injure somebody. All right, so here's what I have here. Hopefully I'll be able to get this back into the package. But So uh, another complaint that people got was that these weren't rigid enough but um, or that they were curled or something like that. You can always curl them the other direction, hit it with a blow dryer or whatever straighten them out a little bit but the idea here is you've got these little shark tooth or sawtooth barbs here is you stick this down into the drain and if there's a hair clog you pull it up and you get a nasty nasty you know snotty hairy um, wow yeah just you can imagine I was actually thinking about this video earlier um, while I was eating some chips and salsa and I almost gagged <laughs> just think thinking about the kind of stuff that this could bring back <laughs> So, uh, but again, these come in, um, let's see, I think this one is 19 inches. Um, yeah, 19.6 inches. So, so you got a fairly long deal here. And, um, you know, they should be reusable. Although, <laughs> again, some people were like, I'm not cleaning it off. I'm throwing it away. It's disposable. Um, this was neat, though. I hadn't, hadn't ever seen anything like that. I thought, well, I'll go ahead and pick some up if I ever need them they're there um, I wanted to have something available to where if we did have uh, a true clog that I could that I could feel a little bit more comfortable about using it so what I ended up doing is looking for products that were septic safe um, a lot of times when us RVers are looking for tank treatments or enzymes or anything like that for our for our holding tanks or our toilets um, we look for stuff that's septic safe right and so I came across this product here it's called green gobbler uh, dissolve drain clog remover um, it says it dissolves grease soap paper and hair um, and, and these are a lot of the types of clogs that we would normally get in an RV um, and even in a home and um, I started looking around for for ingredients and things like that um, and, and did read online that they Consider it a proprietary formula and that they don't give out the actual ingredients um, but I did pick up on the fact that it was enzyme based right so um, much like some of the um, black tank treatments um, that use enzymes or bacteria this uses enzymes um, as well as most likely other products um, to, to clear up these clogs now I haven't used this and um, I don't know if I ever will need to uh, but again um, you know we full time in our RV and I just want to make sure that if we're ever in a situation where I've tried everything and nothing else has worked that I can use a product like this I just wanted to show you guys a few of the products that I got 
these are all pretty much emergency based products it's like uh, um, a bug out kit we'll call this a hair out kit um, and I just wanted to make sure that because because we like I said we've had a couple problems and I wanted to make sure that you know when I'm when I'm dealing with them that I have a couple of tools around that I can rely on um, and you know these seem like a, a good couple of items and I think all together I spent maybe you know 20 bucks or so to to, to get these three three items so all right hey um, I'm gonna put links to all these products as usual I'm gonna put them down in the description um, please do us a, a big honor and and, uh, and favor um, click on those links go check out these products um, they're all affiliate links through Amazon so we do get a little bit of a kickback uh, when you buy these things, it helps us out and uh, it doesn't cost you anything. So, hey, thank you very much. Have a great day. Be safe and I uh, love you all. Thanks. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.